I learned two things that day. One, I was never going to let anyone see that they got to me. And two? If the world's only going to see a fox as shifty and untrustworthy, there's no point in trying to be anything else. No. Oh no, what are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. One thing that makes me want to just explode and cry and scream and die and uh, catch fire and descend into hell and then kill myself while I'm in hell is when... I'm so glad you're back, Stephen. Y you actually said my name. Stephen. Stephen? <laughs> it's such a funny sounding name. You're so creative, Pink. I disgust myself. I close my eyes and hold my breath for as long as possible. I cry, consistently and pathetically. Because this is the moment you realize something inside you is broken. And it can never be fixed. They say they know the real me, but do they really? If they know the real me, why am I so tired? Why am I so stressed? Why am I never open to people? Why do I not trust people? Why am I always in my room? Why am I always listening to music? Two houses, two homes, two kitchens, two phones, two couches where I lay, two places that I stay. Moving, moving here and there from Monday to Friday, I'm everywhere. Don't get me wrong, it's not that bad, but oftentimes it makes me sad. I want to live that nuclear life with a happy dad and his loving wife, a picket fence, a shaggy dog, a fireplace with a burning log. But it's not real, it's just a dream. I cannot cry or even scream. So here I sit with cat number three. Life would be easy if there were two of me. Oh, damn child, leave this house. Take a flower, take a flower, You know how people 
say, oh, everything happens for a reason. What was the reason? What the fuck was the reason for this? this yeah, she doesn't have a good body shape, but did you have to make it worse by mentioning it to her? You think she doesn't care? Of course she does. She cries herself to sleep every night for that exact reason, wondering why she was born like this, and asking herself, why wasn't I born like the rest of the girls I see in school? It's gotten to a point where she literally wants to kill herself. I'm really sorry. I won't do it again. I swear I won't.